What's up guys, welcome back. Prank it from all the cards getting new support. Let's try it out. It's already up on Edo Pro. Um, it's a new Link 1 monster. One may know that they are getting more support. Who knows? Maybe regular monsters. But this Link 1, ah, it's fantastic. It somewhat solves a lot of problems the prank it's uh, have. As, as like, um, you need it to open up with multiple cards. Like, like two or three cards. Uh, multiple combos. Uh, opening turn of fusion. And multiple prank it's. But this new Link 1 solves that you can definitely only uh, open with like one prank it and go from there i'll start with like the um, quote-unquote new generic combo i i guess and that's um just opening like field spell or prank it doesn't really matter which one just to be convenient let's just use the field spell search fire most importantly here is to eventually or you know the second one the foolish burial one the thunder one right to send a trap to the graveyard eventually go for you know like rocket ride and so on um, the second card here, the call by the grave in my hand, will just be discard father for the potential extra draw. That can be like any dead card in your hand uh, because of the rock one, right? The level 4, banish something from the hand, draw one. Um, this is your standard opening play, so you basically went plus 3. But most importantly is that... Uh, right, plus 3, right? Yeah. But most importantly, you have the ability to go for Butler during your opponent's turn with this one card, right? Like, one prank it. Um, again, go for Butler during your opponent's turn and then right Geki their board at any moment, right? I mean, you, you know how prank it uh, battle Butler uh, works. But this new Link 1 has the ability that uh, you don't have to banish, like, your um, monsters, your prank it um, uh, links or your prank it uh, fusions, for example, uh, to use their effect or, you know, like, use their effect, tribute themselves, I mean... Uh, you can just banish your Link 1 from the graveyard. That's huge since, again, Butler is not once per turn, so you can, like, um, wreck your opponent's board twice during their turn. And that's quite huge. Or, if you had, like, the Trap card, which, again, just is, is part of your entire combo, you can Link Summon during your opponent's turn as well. And, uh, again... The fact that this archetype has like an Harpy's Feather Duster, then Link 4, uh, makes this quite devastating. You can, and with all the same combo, you can um, like butler your opponent, Raigeki, their board, all of their monsters, and with a follow up play, because again, you can just special summon multiple prank hits during their turn as well. You're going for the Link 4 also during their turn, and then the Harpy's Feather Duster, their board as well, all in the same turn. And that's quite ridiculous. <laughs> it's definitely ridiculous. So going for Butler, the first Raikeki port nuke, right? And, uh, okay, their special summoning cap capabilities are effect in spots per turn. So again, just get your three uh, other prank hits to your side of the field. I can still use one, I believe. It's the Earth one, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, again, most importantly, here are your four monsters on the field. So again, depending on which deck you're playing against, this again could be uh, another Butler effect. So again, another Raigeki board. Or if you want to uh, keep like that um, Harpy's Feather Duster-like effect, you can just just use your butler for the extra monster needed to go for, you know, your link 4. And, uh, yeah, Harpy said that's your opponent's board away. The current main deck, as you saw, is running 42 cards. Reason, uh, reasoning being is that, um, and that's probably not so standard, is that I'm main decking the... Um, you know, like the polymerization, the, the fight for patchwork, and uh, the two quote-unquote bricks, you know, the edge in monsters you need, uh, like, in your deck to activate patchwork, but uh, I feel this is quite good. Again, the, it's basically a free polymerization, plus it gives you the, the plus, right? Patchwork searches out your two cards, one of them being the edge imp, which could be used for your earth, you know, your rock uh, prank it, like banish something from the hand and draw one card. So, uh, I feel it's okay. Is it needed? Probably not, because again, this Link 1 definitely increases the consistency of this deck. You are not, you, you, you know, thanks to this Link 1, you're not uh, forcing yourself to open with, let's say, a Polymerization, and that leads, uh, and at least uh, two Prank it, right? I mean, because like, your, your three card combos leads to, like, your Rocket and, you know, like the, the standard combos. Um, so again, you might not need the, the patchwork, a small patchwork package. Um, if you want, you can definitely drop those for other cards, as you saw in like the, uh, the side deck. Um, I, you, 
I feel that you might want to maybe main more hand traps, like impermanence. Let's see if you're going second against a deck like Eldritch or Adamant Sepater, you definitely want to have more cards to prevent healthy Firebreaks from going off. So I would recommend like uh, Veiler or um, Impermanence, right? Impermanence is a no-brainer to prevent your opponent from getting off the healthy Firebreak. So Chainlink 7 here. You know, you, you can, again, Butler is not once per turn, so dodging the impermanence here and the opponent is, <laughs> well, here, I, I mean, this is game, during their main phase you can use your trap to go for another Link Summon, go for Doodle, another Search, it's it's ridiculous, really, really ridiculous, or maybe go for the Dog, what is it called, like Bark, um, yeah, again, you know, use their effects during your opponent's turn. That That's the thing with Prankets, and that's the, the reason why they'll um, probably be top tier again. I, I mean, they won a YCS from like, like a couple of years ago, YCS Milan. Um, nobody expected that. One of the reasons why is um, maybe people didn't really know how they worked, but now, I mean... The thing is, is that this deck has the capability or the ability to play during your opponent's turn. They have a powerful field spell that searches and also has the ability to dodge hand traps, just make it like the last chain link. They have powerful effects that left that lets you play during your opponent's turn. One of their fusions, the weather one, uh, the link one as well, the, the dog. All of the capability to play during your opponent's turn, interact with them and, you know, give them protection, not being able to be destroyed by battle, by card effects. So that that's fantastic, right? I mean, you can fusion summon during your opponent's turn. And plus, yeah, this new Link 1 monster just gives this deck more consistency. If you open with only one prank get, that's cool. That's still your combo. A while before this link one, you at least needed to open with, you know, like two prankets and go from there. So again, Butler during your opponent's turn, Raikeki their entire field, and I have the trap still set, so I could potentially go for like another link play. Or, you know, we, we now know the hand, so I can definitely like, um, you know, abuse that or, you know... Just go from there. Doodle during their turn for a beneficial search. Potentially tag out during my turn. Or, you know, I, I think I have Boral Sword here in this deck as well. Yeah, should be. It has been going in and out. Um, you know, maybe Extra Scout Talker might be better. Tag out for some fusion shenanigans. And, oh, yeah, Pot of Everest is a no-brainer. It's currently a 2 of in the deck, but I feel that... The way that how fast this deck runs through its resources, you might want to just slap in triple Everest. But the thing with Everest is that you're first either you're either constantly begging uh, for the card, like oh man, I need to draw into Everest. Um, while on the other hand, and that's the way how, you know how it goes, is that the only time you're seeing Everest in, is in your opening hand, and you're like oh man, this is cool. But then your opponent is throwing like two or three hand traps at you, and then your Everest is dead. So, yeah, that's like one of the reasons why I, I'm just main decking two copies, but I definitely understand main decking three. Again, going first, basically the same combo. Oh, okay, that's, that's something that I haven't mentioned yet, is that, but that's not really new, is the deck on top of this all has the ability to play, uh, like, well, not through Nibiru, but before the Nibiru. I mean, you can definitely go for Totally Awesome on, I believe, is it the fourth summon? I believe it's the, yeah. Of obviously, right? Uh, on on the fourth summon, you like, there are probably more ways, but having like a fusion potential play with two prankets leads to two waters, right? I mean, you obviously can't use a water one for the fusion, but I mean, you're playing like nine, uh, not a water prankets plus the field spell plus terraforming, so it's not that hard, right? And uh, yeah, again, I mean, giving or giving this deck the ability to put up a totally awesome before your opponent is able to Nibiru you, that's quite huge. Plus the fact that if they Nibiru you, you can get back the water, reborn the Nibiru on your side of the field. Plus, you know, like, get back the water from your graveyard thanks to totally awesome and, uh, you know, go from there. Give you the capability of fusion summoning during your opponent's turn. Again, just, it's, it's so disgusting. And, uh, I mean, who knows that in, in uh, what's it called, like, the new Phantom um, set. They might get more prankets, right? I mean, uh, maybe a regular monster, maybe more spells, more traps, probably a trap, who knows. Um, it, 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 it feels quite ridiculous and, and threatening as well, like going second against that deck, against prankets, it just feels filthy. You're, um, the fact that it's so consistent to put up like a double butler, like a double butler play, again, feels so nifty. You're just being, like, like 
if you're setting everything, you, <laughs> you're just being ignorant against something like uh, Prankets, right? Um, so going for the red that I believe the name is Tag Out. Just again, I mean, thanks to, yeah, the Edge Blossom is in hand, but again, just use a field spell uh, as uh, the last uh, chain link so your opponent cannot like... Um, Blossom, like one of your Pankhead Summons, because you need the fourth one here. Um, yeah, indeed, the Link 1, uh, or Link, Link 4, like Harpy's Feather, so your opponent's uh, entire back row, use it the second time. Not give the opponent any form of interaction, and <laughs> now you can just go for a game. Um, but of, yeah, reveal the Pot of Everest, run to Ash Blossom, that's cool. I, I mean, I can pub out multiple uh, big beat sticks, maybe go for the Dog as well to give it the beneficial attack boost. I get a bit of it, yeah, indeed, the beneficial search off of Doodle to the, probably the fusion spell, right? Uh, another monster search since I still have my normal summon, yeah, flip over everything and of course go for the fusion summon. Use the field spell so all of my monsters gain a beneficial attack boost and this, whew, easy, easy go for a game. So this is cool. The last time I played Prankets was quite a, quite a while, I, I, years, like a year or two, not really sure. But, um, I mean, it's, it's not that hard of a deck, it's a very fun deck to play with and it's very um very nifty and filthy <laughs> but again like always feel free to leave feedback about the build but um i mean this new card definitely gives this deck more uh, potential top tier potential um okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card or a like if you enjoyed the video leave them signing out peace